is James Harden the kind of player you want on your team? Let's talk about this. So, what's going on, everybody? If you have not not already, please subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you think about James Harden before I even get into this. So, this is from ESPN. He said, um, this person wrote, Discarded superstar James Harden said the Houston Rockets are just not good enough after the team's second consecutive blowout loss to the Los Angeles Lakers on Tuesday night, adding that he doesn't believe the team can improve enough to be a contender. Okay, I'm going to stop right there because, honestly, he needs to have better leadership qualities, and he's been wanting out of Houston for a while, so this is just something that he's just kind of nitpicking, I feel like, just to get out of Houston, in my opinion. However, if I were Houston, I would trade him off. I don't want that kind of player on my team. That's making my team look even bad with him coming out and saying things. You don't want to do that to your team. You don't want to talk down and bad about your team. You want to lift your team up. You want to help your team win. You want to be motivation, or you, yeah, you want to be motivational to your team. So I don't understand why he's doing this. And then he goes on and says. I love the city. I literally have done everything that I can. I don't really think he has. I think he could have a better attitude, for one. Also, he could be a better leader on this team. And, I mean, you see other teams struggling. And I just feel like some of the star athletes on, on their teams don't even come out and say all that, what he has said. I mean, there have been some. I'm not saying that there never has been. But I just feel like James Harden has a very sour attitude. He doesn't have... Uh, good leadership qualities whatsoever. He's not a leader for a team. He can play. He's a good athlete. He's a good basketball player. I'm not taking that away from James Harden, but I'm taking away the fact that he he needs to have a better attitude and he needs to help lead his team a little bit better, in my opinion. So, um, he said, I mean, this situation is crazy. It's something that I don't think can be fixed because you're not trying to help it being fixed. And that's one of the things, too, that I just, I don't really care for his attitude with this. And you've got to have a better mindset than what you do if you're going to help a team win. And he's been wanting out of Houston for a while, and we've seen this. So we've known this. I feel like, or I feel like I've known this for a while, that he wants out of Houston. I can tell by his actions and everything in between that he wants out. So it's the closest Harden has come to go in public with a trade man that sources said he made during the offseason. Now, Houston's front office is determined to remain patient until he's until his asking price for the 2018 MVP is met, sources told ESPN. Now, if that's the case, I don't know if it, it will be met. A team's going to be pretty desperate, I guess. It depends on how much money Houston wants for him, too. So, I don't know. I don't remember how much of a contract he has left, James Harden has left. So, it, it's just, to me, this is going to be up in the air for a little bit. So, the Rockets have informed teams that they won a young franchise cornerstone and a package of first-round picks and our intriguing talent on Ricky contracts in return for Harden, sources said. So they're asking for a lot. They're being totally specific, and I understand that to a certain point. However, you don't have to have a rookie. Not only that, you don't have to have a first-round pick or intriguing talent on rookie contract. Really? Houston... Be for real. You, you've got to be more serious about this. And you've got to have reality at some point, I guess you can say. Quit being so picky and trade them. Trade for a younger player. Don't trade for a rookie. I'd rather have a younger player who's been in the league for maybe a year or two for the time being. You don't have to keep them fully. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just for now, or you're never going to get rid of James Harden. I don't know, I don't know which teams I came up. I think... Wasn't it Brooklyn or Philadelphia, maybe? I cannot totally remember. That came up, <clears throat> and I think there were some rumors about going trade there. That's what I have read or seen or whatever. You know, it just probably was a rumor somebody was spreading around. But I feel like it got leaked somehow. But maybe that's just me. So the Rockets have had active ongoing trade discussions with more than half a dozen teams. Okay, so there's quite a few teams. Um, this is just my reaction to all this as well. According to one source close to the situation, and have been communicating with Harden about those options. How, however, Harden made it clear to the owner, Tillman, or Tia, Tia, before the season that he did not believe in the franchise's direction and ability to contend and preferred to be traded to a team that was in a better position to win. So he's looking for an easy win. He's looking for an easy championship way or whatever. Um, so instead of trying to help build up around him and, or trying to help his team, 
play better and teach them and teach some of these younger players the concept of the game and whatnot. I'm going to help them out and mentor them. He's being a big baby, I feel like. He's being a crybaby about this because you want to go to a team that automatically wins. <laughs> Why? Why do you want to do that? Why can't you have a good attitude about, hey, this team is going to win? And, and not downing James Harden by no means, but even LeBron James is trying to teach the younger players to come up better or whatnot, you know? And, and he's being a better leader. But at the same time, too, seriously? James Harden has a is one of the easy way out by all means to have wins. And I don't think this is right. He shouldn't do this. That's my opinion. However, who knows? So Fertitta was disappointed but Harden told but told Harden that he would explore the trade market on the Rockets timetable. He has since continually give Harden assurances that he will trade him and empower new GM Raphael Stone to trade the three time scoring champion who has three years and $133 million with the player option for the final season remaining on his contract when he finds a deal he likes. So, James Harden is running this show, not the team. The team needs to take full control over this situation. And because you're in contract, you're underneath me. And this is what Houston should say. You're underneath us. You're going to do what we say and what we tell you. You're going to be traded to who we trade you to. No ifs or buts about it. We don't care. You go to a team, whether or not they're winning, whether or not they're not, that's your problem, not mine. Because you need to learn how to be a better player. How to be a leader. How to teach players around you how to be a teammate and whatnot. So, and be a mentor. That's just me. So, that's how much he has left on his contract. I can't remember if it was, I was thinking it just like was one or two years off, but it's actually three. So, so for somebody who is going to take that up, that's going to be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see if he can, if they can get somebody for that. But who knows? I mean, this kind of this article goes on. I'll link it down below, but I'm not gonna go into it fully. But what do you guys think about it? Do you guys agree with me or disagree with me? Let me know down in the comments below because I'm curious to know that. James Harden is too much for me, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, guys. So I, I, I think he's a great player. Don't get me wrong. I don't like him how he's acting with all this. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of childish, in my opinion. I can see high school, college players acting like this, and not NBA. You're a professional. Grow up. That, that's kind of you've been in this league long enough, etc. So I'm gonna quit venting about it. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. So let me know down below if you agree or disagree. Also, let me know down below what you want to hear next. Thank you guys so much. See ya.